Hello, Captains. Welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. I am your host, Brent Justice, and today we are continuing the patrol missions of the Delta Quadrant. In the last video, we did the patrol that's called With Friends Like These. That included the Orndal system, Perrin system, Nanipia system, Kendra system, and then we were not able to do the Raisahen mission, Lagira system. Now it's time for the next patrol. This one, the patrol mission, was called Know Your Enemies. Now this one would come in line in the storyline. Let's go to the Delta Quadrant here. Would come in line right after all that glitters. So if we come down here, you would have all that glitters. Remember, these used to be flip-flop, but anyway, it would come after all that glitters and right before the mission called alliances so alliances is way down here so this also used to be moved up uh, and uh, no actually the the other missions were still there I take that back alliances was still down there the others were in the same place I just have it spaced out on my sheet in front of me but basically the important part is to know is that know your enemies came right after all that glitters and then you got to do that and then you did capture the flag that's what it is so anyway know your enemies this is the Revo system the Brothra system Hodo system and Nular system and I'm guessing Nular is probably the Risa Hen mission that we cannot do but let's uh, find out so it, we would start normally with the Rivos system if this was how it used to be so let's find the Rivos system That'll be the very first one. Uh, I guess it's going to be a ways down here. Have I passed it? Probably. I'm very bad at this. I don't see it. I must be going crazy. Let's see if we can... Um, can't I bring up the system list? Yes, there we go. There it is. So where is that then? It's down this way. I must have just passed it. Oh, there it is. It was right over that word of the sector and I didn't see it. Right by the Lagira system. So it's way down here near the bottom. But that's where, it, where it's at, the Rivos system. So we will start there and see what happens. Yeah, it's way down there. That's okay. So after this patrol, we have two more patrol missions. We'll have better with friends and then taking care of enemies. So we are more than halfway done with the patrol missions at this point. But obviously, as you can see, they had a lot of patrol missions in the Delta Quadrant. So it's quite a shame that they took them out as patrol missions. The patrols are still there, but the it as a mission is not, of course. And then, of course, the Rai Sahin secret ops missions that we had to do, those are just not accessible anymore, apparently. I don't know any other way to, to do that. You'll just have to go watch my original videos on that. I have an original playthrough of those systems when the Delta Quadrant expansion came out. All right, let's go to the Rivo system and see what we have today. Remember, these patrol missions do play into the storyline, so they, they are there for a reason. Or at least they used to be there for a reason. So let's see what we're going to encounter today. I forget, it's been a long time since I've played these patrols, so I don't know what's coming up here. But somehow this should probably tie into the main storyline, because most of them do. Or at least expand upon it. Give us a little background info, you know? Here we go. Helping Hands. See, they even have titles. Helping Hands. 
Captain, we are picking up a distress call in this system. This is um, a Hazari. Thank you for responding to our distress signal. We had a plasma explosion that caused a hull breach. We've already repaired most of the damage, but several of our cargo pods floated away while we were dealing with the emergency, and our tractor beam is still offline. I think we can finish the repairs, but could you recover the cargo? If I can't get it back, I won't be able to pay my crew. Assist the fre freighter and retrieve the cargo. We understand how hard it can be to find help when no one else will give it. So that's what our job is now. We're, we're, helping, we're helping people. Helping hands, just as the title said. So, a uh, beautiful system, by the way. I mean, beautiful part of uh, space here. They did great on the artwork here. So it's a shame that these don't get seen a lot. Because they really made them beautiful. These systems are really pretty. Let's start. That's pod three. That's two. Let's start. Let's go in order. Let's start with pod one. Which is this way. We have the cargo, although scanners are picking up something odd inside. Ooh, interesting. Well, let's go to pod two. We won't waste any... Uh-oh. Malons. We're gonna have to take care of them. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target's shield has failed. Four shields failing. Scavengers, sir. Most likely looking for free supplies. Let's get cargo pod two. Transporters had an issue with the rematerialization, re, uh, but we worked through it. Hmm. Something wrong with the rematerialization. That's a hard word to say. Let's see what cargo pod three has to say. There were some odd readings during that transport. Hmm, something odd fishy going on, huh? I wouldn't doubt it. Let's get back to the freighter. Explosion in the cargo bay. Sir, the cargo pods were filled with explosives. Each pod contained a small amount of trilithium resin with a remote detonator. They were masked from our sensors, so there was no way for the transporter to filter the resin out. We've isolated the damage to a few cargo bays, but it would have been much worse. Our friends led us into a trap. Let's deal with them. You got it. Communications established. What is the meaning of this? It's just business, Admiral. There's a price on your head too tempting to ignore. I don't know why the price is there, but I honestly don't care. I have a contract and I intend to complete it. Warning. Ship is under so attack. It was a trap. Target shields have failed. But it looks like I easily dealt with them. The bounty will more than compensate for our losses. Survive a Hizari ambush. There's more of them. Four shields failing. Target shields have failed. Hull integrity below 75%. Dead or alive makes no difference to me. Another ambush. Target shields have failed.
Well, we got them all. Hail the disabled ship. Fine, we're not being paid enough for all of this, and I'll find whoever had the bright idea to stick me in a cargo freighter. You want to know who paid us? It's a Ferengi named Quinn. Didn't like the look of him, but a job's a job. This isn't worth the money, though. I'll be letting the others know to avoid dealing with him in the future. Good. We need more allies out here, not opportunistic enemies. I think the Ferengi... I knew the Ferengi would be a problem, but I don't think anyone expected they had the resources to put out a bounty on us. And even though the Hazari said they were just fulfilling a contract, it might be more than that. We should be more cautious dealing with them in the future. So, of course, we're going to get a big box of Delta Marks. Again, one of the uh, advantages playing these patrols, you get Delta Marks for each patrol. So if you're doing that reputation, the Delta Mark reputation, playing these patrols helps you get those marks. Very, very useful. So there we go. We'll run in with the Hizari. But we cleaned that up. We cleaned that up. All right, the next system we've got for Know Your Enemies. Again, that's the title of this one, so it kind of leads us there. We're going to be uh, we're going to be encountering enemies on each of these patrols, but dealing with them also. So we've got the Brothra system. Here it is, way down here. We're now at the bottom of the sector, bottom of the quadrant, whatever you want to call it. This, uh, these patrols, this patrol mission here won't be very long because just after this, all we've got is the Hodo system and we're done with that. I'm guessing again, we're not going to be able to get to Nular because that's probably the Risa Hin patrol, but we will find out. So let's see what Brothra has to offer. Let's do it. Wonder who we're going to encounter next. It's exciting. Because like I said, I forget what, uh, especially these last patrol missions, I forget what they were about. It's been a long time since I've done them. But now that I got the list of them printed out, I think, you know, I'm going to use them more, especially when I'm building up my Delta reputation on new characters and so forth. And doing other things like that. I think I'm going to do more of these patrols to to get, you know, skill points, level up, do uh, starship masteries. Heck yeah. In fact, these patrols are great for building up starship masteries. So if you get a new starship and you want to get to level, you know, four or five of your starship mastery, here you go. Play these patrols and you'll get there in no time. Perfect. All right, Captain. There is a disabled Borg cooperative ship nearby. Sensors show that they have taken heavy damage from at least two different types of weapons. They are too busy tending to their wounded to repair the ship. The cooperative ship's comm array is damaged, but they are broadcasting an encrypted emergency signal. We could easily repair the comm array and get their ship mobile again. Your orders? Well, plot a course. So the uh, cooperative, another dealing with them, which is nice, because in the main storyline, we don't deal with them to the very end where they join us in battle against the Vaudoir. But if you don't play these patrols, then you get to miss these uh, couple of storylines extra with the um, uh, cooperative. Thank you for the aid, Admiral. The cooperative has tried to seek peace with species 6339, but to no effect. They do not see that although we are Borg, we are free from the collective's influence and wish no harm to others. They ambushed us in this system. My vessel was equipped to deal with such a threat, but then the Vaudoir happened upon our conflict and the Vaudoir see everyone as a target. There are damaged ships on both sides. Will you help us to aid them and to convince species 6339 that we are not their enemy? <laughs> I understand what it's like to have too many enemies. Uh, we will assist you. I have no choice. I have to assist them anyway. They don't really give you a choice in that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, uh, the Ectanti, again, we, we know that they are... They are... The Ectanti really, really hate the Borg. Stay away from us. I want nothing to do with Borg collaborators. If you want to help, destroy those drones. If you're not willing to do that, then go and leave us in peace. The Cooperative are here to help. They wish to negotiate a truce. Peace? 
Our species was nearly wiped out by the Borg, and now they seek peace. There is no peace with the drone. The will of the Collective remains in all of them, even if they claim to be free of it. Destroy them, and then we will talk. We cannot do that. You must believe that the Cooperative want to help. Uh, now the Vodwar come to attack, so there's that. <laughs> That's So that means the Cooperative are going to help, and the Ektanti are going to see that the Cooperative are helping. Look at that, we both got them in a tractor beam. How cool is that? That was just pretty darn cool. Uh-oh, there's more. Target's shields have failed. Four shields failing. Hull integrity below seventy. Ah, there we go. Got them. Now we can hail the Ectanti. Maybe they'll now see, yes, that we saved them. And so did the cooperative. You and the cooperative helped us. Perhaps we were wrong. If the cooperative are, are willing to fight against such odds, the Borg brought my people to the brink of extinction. Now the Vodvar are determined to finish us. If the cooperative want to unite against them, then our survival is more important than the past. I am glad we have come to an agreement. What else do you need from us? We will require your assistance to recover our other ships in the area. Then we can make a stand against the Vaudoir. All right. We will help your ships and fight at your side. Everyone needs allies. We will assist you. There we go. We shall follow you to recover our allies. Okay. Well, we've got two groups of Borgs. Well, let's just deal with them. Warning. Ship is under attack. Shields have failed. Hull integrity below seventy five per cent. Shields failing. Target's shields have failed. Trying to take out the big ship here, but it is proving to be quite troublesome. Four shields failing. Left shields failing. Rear shields failing. Target shields have failed. Right shields failing. Hull integrity below 25%. Four shields failing. Rear shields failing. Left Came shields down. failing. Really, uh, really almost blew up there. Warning. Ship is under attack. Took a lot of damage. Hull integrity below 25%. Four shields failing. The Vod War are tough. Left shields well, failing. I did blow up. 
I did blow up. Yeah, the Vaudoir are um, no joke. No joke at all. Again, remember, I'm playing on advanced difficulty for all of these patrols, so they are more difficult than they would normally be. That is an important piece of information. Okay, let's get back to the battle. Where are we? I guess I need to wake this ship up or repair it. Yeah. Probably it would help if I had more help. In fact, I think I can actually fix these ships so they will help me. Probably should have done that already. I can't fix that one though. Target's shields have failed. Rear shields failing. Got those ships. Okay, now maybe I can go heal that one. Yeah, there we go. Repair. Thank you for the unexpected aid. Oh, we did it. Oh, I gotta repair the flagship now. Probably did that out of order, but doesn't matter. It's a trap. The Vaudoir will be here any moment. Okay, so the more Vaudoir. But now we got these other ships repaired, so they should help us. Right? Yes. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Okay, hail the Octanti. Thank you for your assistance. It will take some work, but my people must see that these Borg were victims of the Collective just as we were. If we hope to have any chance of rebuilding the Octanti civilization, we will need allies, and those alliances can only flourish once the Vaudoir are defeated. Fight well. More Delta Marks. We may have helped the Cooperative take the first step towards a truce with the Octanti. Both groups have more in common than they realize. So there we go. We have basically, you know, they had a conflict. We knew that from one of the patrols. We learned that. And now we've kind of resolved that in a way so that, again, they can help us, you know, when supposedly all these patrol missions would be before you take out the, the final Vodwar mission. So now we have more allies, basically, to help us when that would come. Okay, the next system is the Hodos system, which is right down here. So basically, we're cleaning up the Delta Quadrant, making a big impact on it. Hodos. Hodos. Uh, stay tuned for the end of the video because I'm going to talk about the next ship. That's right, I'm already thinking ahead about the next ship I'm going to be upgrading to. Patrol? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Now this one requires a shuttle. Patrol Hodo system, shuttle required, single player. So this is a shuttle mission. Typically I don't like shuttle missions, but gotta do it. 
to be complete. So I'm going to do it. Hopefully it'll. Hopefully I have a shuttle equipped. I guess I would by now, wouldn't I? I, mean, I know I've used one in the past. I would have had to. Well, that'll be. This will be interesting. I forget exactly what this is about. But it's a shuttle. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm not too fond of shuttle missions. Ah, the race. This is the race one. This one's kind of fun then. Uh, because this is right out of Star Trek Voyager. There is an episode in Star Trek Voyager where literally uh, they join a space race. Tom Paris takes the lead on that uh, naturally. Uh, they, they have a space race. It's a fun episode. It just reminds us that, you know, they're not always out there. There's not always this great threat out there. Sometimes they just want to have fun on their way home. Why not? Admiral, there appears to be some sort of race course set up in and around the asteroids in this system. We are receiving a transmission. It seems to be coming from the race course itself. Let's hear what it has to say. Welcome, hopeful entrant. Before you is the starting gate of the Hodos Qualification Course. Completing this course in a time under the qualification time will earn you and your shuttle entry into this year's Antaran Transstellar Rally. Simply fly your shuttle through the gates as they appear before you. Sim seems simple enough. When you complete the course, we will transmit your time to the Antaran Transstellar Rally officials for qualification. Once they sign off, you, are, you will have qualified for the rally. Remember, using full impulse will get you through quickly, but some shuttles may not be able to make some of the tighter turns at that speed. Be prepared to change your speed to stay on the course. Good luck. Tips. Blah, 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 blah. Begin race. I think I already missed. Watch your speed on the turns. Oh, crap. can't barely see the shuttle. Okay, there we go. This is difficult. <laughs> I'm like a drunk driver. I'm literally all over the road on this one. But I've made every one. Holy crap. It's so sensitive. What am I in? A scorpion fighter? I think I am, aren't I? My goodness. I'm not going to beat any records, but <laughs> at least I can hit every single mark marker. That's my point at this point my goal is just to hit every marker it's a great course though look how comp complex this course is I know I could go faster, but man, I will just, I will miss, I will miss it. I will miss the marks. And that won't be fun. I'll pick up a little speed here. And then drop down again, make this turn. Make that tight turn. I made it. That was tough, though. Really tough. That turn. In this one. This one. This one. This is a really long course, too. This really tests your piloting skills, let me tell you. Or at least your keyboarding skills. I'll pick up the pace a little bit. Ooh, I almost missed that one. 
but I got it. I'll slow down on this turn. I guess that's the coming through the finish line here. And my lap time is 174 is my lap time. Course record though is 131. Yeah, no way I'm going to make 131. I'm way far away from that. I don't think I've ever won the one actually won the race below 131. Let me know if you have. What happens if you actually do make it under 131? Is there like something special that happens? I don't know because I've never done it. But let me know if you've done it and let me know if you know if there's like some kind of special reward for it because I don't know. But anyway, my time is 174. I will accept that because I ain't going to do any better. I just simply am not going to do any better. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's a mighty fast shuttle you have there. If you don't mind, my associates and I will take it off your hands. Uh, I don't think so. Do I have any weapons on this ship? No. I've got a plasma torpedo. Is that all I have? Why don't I have uh, some kind of weapon on this ship? Shuttle. Whatever. What can I put on there? That'll work. Shouldn't I have like a shuttle beam? Like a 360 degree shuttle beam? Why don't I have that on there? Please tell me why. And why don't I have one in my inventory? Please tell me why. So I'm missing my forward weapon for my shuttle. Do I have a substitute that can stand in? Got another torpedo. Just looking carefully to see if I have anything that can stand in as a beam weapon. Where's my beam weapon for my shuttle? Seriously, I've got nothing? Well, I've got this phaser dual beam bank from loot. I guess I'll just put that on there, but... I'm missing my shuttle weapon. Weird. Anyway, yeah, I am using a scorpion fighter, so... That's what I've got on here. But where did my shuttle weapon go? My main shuttle weapon. I don't know. I guess I need to find that out <laughs> later, on, later on. We need a shuttle fast enough to race in the Antaran Transstellar Rally, but our budget is a little small to buy the best. That's when we came up with the idea of a fake qualifying track to trick fools like you into showing off their faster shuttles. You qualify, we swoop in, and then we take a shuttle we know we can keep 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 up with the pack. It's a genius. Well, I guess I gotta defend myself, huh? Warning. Ship is under attack. Four shields failing. Below 75%. Wow, I need Hull like whoa. I need like better, better weapons. I don't want more threat. Yeah, I'm not geared up for a shuttle battle. Target's shields have failed. I mean, I'm just really not. This is not good. I'm almost ready to call out my Nimbus Pirate Distress Call. All integrity below 25%. I think I need it. I am not prepared. I am not prepared for a shuttle battle at all, guys. And I'm destroyed. I only got him down to half health and I'm destroyed. Yeah, I am not geared for a shuttle battle. I need to actually take some time and equip a better shuttle off camera. I think I'll do that in case we encounter another shuttle mission because I am not ready. Warning, ship is under attack. 
Four shields failing. Right shield's failing. Hull integrity below 50%. Come on, come on, get him, get him, get him. Integrity below 25%. Got him. That was rather rough. It was such a good plan. Delta marks. Well, that's that. At least we got some racing practice in, I guess. Ready to leave on your orders. I've also learned I need to equip a shuttle. I need to equip a shuttle better in case we encounter another shuttle mission. So that's something I'll have to do. All right, well, that was interesting. Remember, I did all of those patrols on advanced difficulty again. Now, the last one in Know Your Enemies is the Nular system, which I am thinking is the Rice Hen mission. So let's go to Nular. If I'm right, we won't be able to access this, which is a shame because that's a whole storyline that's been taken out of the game. But let's find out. Let's find out for sure. Yeah, I didn't know I was in a scorpion fighter. I thought I might have been in a different kind of shuttle, but I guess all I have is a scorpion shuttle equipped. Scorpion fighter. Which does have a cloak, by the way, but wouldn't have really helped me there too much. Alright, well this is Nular that I'm flying around here, and there's the actual planet. Let's go right to it. Nular. Okay, yeah, nothing is popping up. So, this is Nular. This would be the Raisahen secret ops mission that I've been talking about. The one that just apparently is not in the game anymore. They just completely removed that series of patrols. Which to me sucks hard. And I really dislike it. So anyway, can't do it. Sorry about that. Not my problem. It's cryptic. They did it to all of us. And there it is. If you want to see what the new Lars system is, and how that it connects to the Rice of Hen missions and all that, then go watch my original playthrough of this um, patrol mission. Uh, search on my channel for Know Your Enemies. That's the name of the patrol mission, Know Your Enemies. Search for that and you'll see my original playthrough of all of these systems plus the new LAR at the end of that one. And that video will have that there. That's the only way you're going to see it and know what it is and know what it was. But that is the Know Your Enemies patrols as they currently are. And that's all I can do with them. So on the next one, we'll do the next patrol mission, which is called Better With Friends. But now let's talk just a little bit about a ship. I'm ready to switch ships after I do all these patrols because we're going to start up the Iconian storyline next. And that's going to be rough and tough and tumbled and all that. And I want a good ship. Now this is a good ship and I could totally go forth and keep using this ship. But I felt that I've got my wear and tear out of it now. I figured it out. I'm, it's got a good build. I'm happy with it. I know what it's capable of now. I'm ready to move on to another ship and test it. That's the whole point of playing through all these missions. Is to keep trying out new uh, tactically or escort inclined Romulan ships. That I've never used before. So I think... The next ship I'm going to get, which actually I already did get, uh, but I'm going to put it on after I do all these patrols. The next ship is the new one that just released in the Sea Store. Um, the Col Collier Temporal Warbird. Uh, this is that new set of Temporal Warbird ships, packs, that uh, just released. There's Federation, there's a Jim Hadar. 
and the uh, Klingon and then Romulan ship. I do have the Romulan ship. I purchased the whole pack of them. So I have the Romulan ship. And um, it's ready to go. So um, this is the ship I'm going to use next. I'm just going to try it out. I, hey, I might not like it. And I may just go to another ship after it. Or I may like it. But I'm going to at least give it a shot. It's the newest ship on the block. And so this is the time to test it out. Um, and we'll talk about more about that when I actually switch over and use this ship. For right now, though, still using the fa in the uh, fleet version of the Fayette Intel Warbird. But then after I finish these all of these patrols, right before we go on to the Iconian stuff, that's when I'll switch ships. So just letting you know what you can expect moving forward here. Anyway, that is Know Your Enemies. I hope you all enjoyed that patrol mission. Let me know what you think below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Check out Twitter at Brent underscore justice for updates. You can follow me there. Also check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Brent justice. This helps support the channel and also allows me to publish more and more videos.